My name's Mike Spencer, and this is the Lark's Tongue Studio. We're recording today Gabrielle Aplin's fourth album and using the Yamaha Disclavia piano. This is a grand that has the ability and the capacity to play itself. And therefore, it can, I can record the data that is recorded from it. And also, furthermore, I can put MIDI into it that was recorded on another digital weighted keyboard elsewhere. Traditional acoustic instruments, um, such as acoustic piano, would require the pianist to play at the moment you record, and you wouldn't really be able to manoeuvre and manipulate that outside of compression and EQ in the production process. What's been amazing is we've, so say somebody's in LA and they've got the chord progression and we're like, great, send it to me. I can put it into Pro Tools and then I can run it through the Disclavia. And so we've got someone in LA writing, but it's being recorded here, which is, which is amazing. You know, you could do that before in theory by using piano modules, what have you, but obviously this is on a grand piano, which is, has been fantastic. But a real piano playing in a room has a complexity of tonality and harmonics and cross modulation and comb filter effects, all the number of sort of physical principles that determine the sound of a real instrument in a room, has a number of astronomical permutations that can't possibly be reproduced digitally, which is why still, despite everyone's best endeavours over the last 45, 50 years, digital artificial sound reproduction hasn't hasn't quite got there. It's good, but it isn't the same. Because this can play back the data that's been recorded in Pro Tools, recorded elsewhere, or here by the artist maybe a week before, I can move a microphone here and there an inch or two, or I can change the overall velocity or the expression that is commensurate with the production at the point that I'm making the record. When um, Gabrielle has been here, she's been able to play the piano, and I've been able to go through the same process with that. Once she's gone, I can manoeuvre and manipulate notes and the way the left hand works against the right hand in terms of intensities. Yamaha made a quantum leap forward in being able to have that degree of manipulation and manoeuvrability, which is a requirement of modern record making. So yes, I think this is the future of, of sophisticated remote acoustic recording. I think it brings traditional acoustic instrumentation into the digital age.